welcome back. We have a fun video for you guys today and it is all about five ways you are ruining your outfit. And these are all things that we've all probably done at some point in our lives. And you know, we wanted to share them with you guys all in good fun, but also to give you some advice on if you have done these things, if you, you know, are struggling with some of these things, how you can avoid doing them and make your outfit look that much better. And if you guys haven't already, please definitely subscribe, leave a comment down below, let us know any sort of other videos that you guys would like for us to prepare for you guys. And our biggest request would be to share this video. You know, YouTube is obviously going to pick, you know, like big organizations and companies that, you know, um, focus on fashion to promote those ones more than small little channels like ourselves. So we really do appreciate it. So this first one is something that I, you know, definitely have seen before. I'm sure I've been guilty of it before. I'm always getting on my teenage daughter's cases about this one. And last week I was in church and I was sitting behind this woman and she had such a beautiful, bright red, vibrant jumper on with a little halter neck. And I couldn't help but notice that her big old bra straps were just hanging out the sides of it. And of course, I was trying not to focus on that because that's not really what you're supposed to be thinking about when you're in church. <laughs> but I wanted so badly just to take her and just fix her with a new bra because it was really just taking away from the beauty and the elegance of her gorgeous outfit. And she just looks so put together. So number one way that people are ruining their outfits is with exposed bra straps. And you know, I know that most women, they really don't tend to love strapless bras. Mm -hmm. They're not always the most comfortable, but you know, you have to have the right bra if you're going to wear off the shoulder or tank top style. And you know, it's just, it's not, it really ruins the look if you've got a big old bra strap showing. Exactly. Yeah, no. And you know, for me, I kind of feel like there's really no reason that that, you know, fashion faux pas should have happened because you've got great convertible, you know, um, bras that are out there. You can have ones where you can change the straps to make them halter or have it where you have one strap over and another one that goes across on the backside. So if you've got one shoulder exposed, obviously I'm a bit more blessed on top. So I do know the struggle of finding a good strapless bra, but you know, things like, you know, I use fashion tape religiously. So as you can see, there's like a tiny little strap here that's on the side. So I don't leave that to chance. I'm always making sure to use fashion tape to keep things secure and in place. Yes, and there's so many good options out there. Besides, you know, first of all, just be willing to go out there and try mm -hmm. on the strapless bras and the different styles of bras and make sure that you have an arsenal of bras for all these different types of shirts. And if you try them on, you're sure to find something that, you know, you really like. Um, this is also a great option if you are a little bit smaller on top and you're not so worried about support. This is great for if you're wearing something backless or if you just don't feel like wearing a strapless bra. These are silicone cover-ups. They're just little stick-on, you know, covers and they basically just do the job of covering up so nothing is showing through as well as this little, um, bra clip, which basically turns your regular bra into more of a halter style right, bra. Right, like a racer bag. Exactly, yeah. racer bag style. So, you know, these kinds of little things, which of course we'll link below for you guys, or, you know, a good strapless bra, a convertible bra, those are all things that you really need to have in your drawer so that you're ready for any beautiful top that you wear and that you're not ruining the beauty of your look with the ugly bra straps. And so tip number two would be to find jeans that fit appropriately. I know a lot of us, sometimes we get stuck on numbers, but if you guys are wearing jeans that are too tight, you're gonna unfortunately start creating some muffin top. And this really has nothing to do with what size you are, whether you are someone who is, you know, a size 20 or someone who is a size four. If you're wearing pants that are just too small, unfortunately, you're going to create just extra skin and that also will limit you on the tops that you have. Yes, there are more flowy kind of looser tops like this where if I had muffin top underneath, you guys wouldn't be able to tell, but there's also shirts on top that will really expose and accentuate that look. So, so true. I feel like with the um, popularity of the high rise jeans, that mm -hmm. really just saved us all yeah. from, you know, this muffin top problem that I feel like I definitely struggled with this before where, you know, every shirt had to be really loose to, you know, kind of give you that coverage. However, now with the higher rise jeans, you don't have to think about it as going, you know, all the way up. If you don't like that look of the really high mom jeans, it doesn't have to go that high, but just high enough to kind of 
pull everything in and it's really gonna help you when you're wearing a shirt that maybe is like a little bit more fitted or a t-shirt that's a thin material to just not have that look because you can really create um, a look of you know excessive skin or make yourself look bigger than you are because it happens even to tiny girls I mean everybody has skin and if you squeeze it together in a tight little package you're going to have overflow right. so definitely avoid the muffin top yeah. so this next way that people can really ruin an outfit is pulling buttons and this can happen to anybody you know I don't have a huge amount on top however I've definitely run into this before sometimes it can be you know broader shoulders or wider <laughs> back Why are you laughing? <laughs> It happens to all of us ladies. <laughs> you were gifted. Don't Even those of us in the itty bitty. <laughs> but sometimes you just get that pulling of the buttons and it just creates a look that says your shirt doesn't fit right and it really ruins a very pretty top. So, you know, you really don't want to have that look and there are things that you can do to avoid it. Exactly. And I noticed that for myself, what happens is just over time, washing the shirt over and over mm. and over again. So even True. when I did buy it in the store, it fit perfectly, but just wear and tear, it ends, it ends up where yep. it looks like my buttons are hanging on for dear <laughs> life, struggling to keep things together. So for us, one of our cheats that we like to use when, you know, the, the shirt is still salvageable it's just using a little pin just to kind of keep everything in place you can also use the fashion tape that we showed earlier just to make sure that everything is you know not puckering and lays nice and flat and looks has a nice sleek look versus exactly. versus you know like a struggle shot and you know what I'm not going to show you on me personally we're going to show yes, an image of someone else whose buttons are struggling yeah we're, we don't we're gonna gonna put keep that this much heat. we're going to keep this g-rated here that's right <laughs> and sometimes if it's really happening with all the buttons it's just time to get mm, a bigger size, right. let's be honest. Like, I like to tell myself that it's always because of the dryer. It must be the dryer. I must have <laughs> put it in the dryer. But sometimes it's just, I need to admit, it's time to get a new shirt and bump up a size. And it's better to have a little bit looser fit. Right. You know, anything that's too tight on your body is really just going to create a look that your clothes don't fit properly exactly. and, you know, you're too big for your yeah. clothes. So you really want to just go up a size and like Christina said, if it's a little, one little button issue, just, you know, a pin or some fashion tape and you're good to go, but no more pulling buttons. Yeah. And another big no-no that you don't want to have is having your panty lines showing. So I have a holiday party coming up and one of the dresses that I am debating on wearing is this beautiful white body conscious kind of dress. However, the worst thing that I could do is turn around and show everyone what style of panties I'm wearing. So I'll make sure to wear either seamless panties that are nude or a nude um, Spanx underneath just to kind of create everything that's nice and flawless and you know no one can guess what color my panties are what style of panties I'm wearing exactly you know? exactly I feel like this is just really like I personally like to just fill my drawer with nude colored mm -hmm. seamless panties because they're gonna work with everything and the last thing you want is you know a nice slim fitting um, pair of dress pants or something and then that that line that line that just does terrible things to your booty mm -hmm. I mean it's just not it's not a flattering look Look when you have that that you know just going right into the cheeks and creating this mess in your booty and if you have you know a Spanx or um, you know a seamless panty line no one's going to know you know where the panties are it's a mystery exactly are you wearing them <laughs> where the panties begin and where they end that's right just gives you a nice derriere so, <laughs> so we'll give you guys one guess at what number five is I don't know too many accessories <laughs> will kill your outfit. So, of course, we are being silly here, but yeah, too much of a good thing is just too much. Um, too many accessories will really kill an outfit because it's just super distracting. So, what we typically like to do is, if we were to go with a nice statement necklace, then we would leave our ears bare or maybe just like a little stud, but you know, you really don't want anything that's too close together like this. So, a statement earring, a statement necklace, you know, bangle bracelets all over, it's just way too much. You really want to stick to one statement piece if you're going to do a, a larger jewelry piece, so either the necklace 
or the earrings um, and then keep everything else really simple or if you prefer you know smaller simple jewelry you know maybe just doing a small stud with a delicate necklace and a little bracelet or two a little bracelet stack but just not so much going on at once it's very distracting yeah so I'm actually showing you guys an example of how to not mix your metals so, <laughs> even though I'm wearing <laughs> green and Silver, and sorry, did I say green? I meant gold, sorry about that. Gold and Which silver. Which can turn green right? sometimes. Gold and silver mixed together. This is not the way to do it. So obviously for us, we really like to have things that are, you know, simple. We, we really kind of do wear more simple pieces. And one of the reasons why I think I personally like it is because when you're in investing a large amount of money right into a jewelry piece you're not going to have a whole entire stack of bracelets and just dripping with jewelry everywhere you're really going to have these simple pieces and so the pieces of jewelry that you are wearing will look higher end quality if you're keeping it basic and just I like to keep I have a rule for myself if I'm wearing earrings then it's got to be a bracelet if I'm wearing a necklace then it's got to be a bracelet but the two never go together I'm the same way they just don't like each other they just start to compete with one another. yes yes if I have earrings at all with a necklace it'll be like the littlest stud mm -hmm. you know a little maybe a little diamond stud or something but yeah typically I am either necklace or earrings not both right and then of course you know bracelets a watch kind of right. always works just a few I love a bracelet stack but just not a crazy right. stack mixed with all kinds of things going on honestly this just takes so much away from the actual outfit that you're exactly. wearing and it's just it's too much going on so exactly. that is number five exactly. of how to kill your outfit well that is it we hope you guys learned something and enjoyed this video and we will see you guys next time bye, bye.